Immediately right after the jump ball, the ball gets into the hands of Tatum and there's a pick and roll. So screen sets, screen connects. That connection there basically removes you out of the contesting zone. You see Hash bumping up against Curry because of the size difference. Today, we will spectate and give commentary to some of the top players using Tatum. This is a new series that I want to introduce where we learn from the top players using a specific player. So in this video, we'll look at Tatum. We'll go over what these Tatum mains do on offense and defense, and hopefully you use these lessons to help you better defend him or even play as him. And before we dive into game number one, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button for more videos like this on NBA Infinite. And now for game one featuring Tatum, will be a maxed out Tatum played by Hash. Also, we have Demi playing an R5 Embiid, and we have Ken playing an R4 AD. And they're playing against a legendary Steph Curry, who's R5, played by Ninja, and a 92 overall, rank 5 Giannis, played by Sicario, and also a maxed out Wembe Yama, played by JW Snipes. So each of these two teams have a main primary scorer, and also they're backed up by two bigs. Each of these bigs are very strong, they can grab rebounds, blocks and they're also fast to help give some soft double teams when needed if there's ever a crossover. Nice. So right away, within 8 seconds, immediately right after the jump ball, the ball gets into the hands of Tatum and there's a pick and roll. There's a pick and roll right away and unfortunately for, for Giannis, he tried to cheat a little bit to predict that he will go to the right but instead Hash on Tatum went left. And you can see where Embiid was set. His, his screen set perfectly for him to basically go over and take a shot. Ken is also there to set the screen, but I think he's going to flip back right away as soon as the shot's released. But I think he was predicting another screen here. And also Sicario playing Embiid on defense. He thought that it would be a fake where Tatum would go right, but he guessed incorrectly and he got punished for it. You see that he moves up but then moves to the left and by the by that time the ball's already out of his hands. And I also want to note what by the time that step back happens, we see Embiid rolling to the basket. This is this is the pick and roll in a nutshell basically. The roll happens with when the screen setter which forces JW Snipes to follow him. So there's no follow up maybe a uh, a jump shot pass to to the Embiid and this basically opened up the contest zone for Tatum to shoot a wide open three. And you can see here, Giannis was too late to go into the contesting zone for a block and it's a wide open. Now on defense. Curry is so slippery, man. You gotta have your eye on him all the time. Sometimes you don't even see the screen because you keep looking at him because he just moves and gets open so quick. So here you see Ninja play Curry. You'll see that he'll use a lot of the pump fake and drive. That's basically a free acceleration master that gives you that boost of speed to get open. He's going to use that every time he catches the ball. So as soon as Ninja catches the ball, you'll see Sakara set the screen here, which does catch Tatum. Even though Tatum catches contact very lightly on that screen and does slip by him still, it gives Ninja the extra second to pop that three. That's a pump fake. That's a screen. And Tatum um, got caught in that screen. And here, here's the same play. We see that pick and roll happen. He's calling for the alley-oop, which gives him also extra burst of speed. But there's no need because Ninja knows he's going to get open somewhere around here. He could have passed it for a quick two as well. And just a little bit too slow by... Just a little bit too slow by Demi. That's okay. I would have jumped there too. Because uh, we know how fast Curry releases. So that jump was... A little early and um, he got punished right here. Here we go with another pick and roll. So the pick and roll is happening again. We got the screen set by Embiid. Nice awareness by Ken to draw out the Giannis there. And, th and this game's all about centimeters and pixels. If you can know when you'll get that wide open, and it, as you shoot it, you know you'll be still wide open, that's when you master your shooter. So screen sets. Screen
screen connects that connection there basically removes you out of the contesting zone if there's ever a connection on the screen just like there is here you should be looking to shoot that ball or give it a, or give it to a wide open man so as soon as that connects he, uh sakara knew he was in trouble and hash was just pops it in even with the jump wasn't enough now on defense just always on your toes always on your toes rarely you'll see um tatum on the guard position while chasing down ninja And he still gets open. Nice try. Resets. Pump fake and drive. And shoots a little bit far back three. Pump fake and drive again. Nice defense. Nice defense by Hash. So staying close to him. Me, you know, catching up with Steph Curry is a big challenge for anybody. And keeping up with his ball movement. Even though those three attempts by Steph Curry to shoot the ball. Uh, did not go in a big part of those misses was hash's ability to keep up with steph curry as he moved around so tatum's always letting go of the guard button to constantly stay in the steph curry's contesting zone and that's what led to those missed threes now it's back on offense great screen usage he didn't even need to take it if the screen was set a little lower closer to the three we would have saw something like he would have shot it like he did in the first play or gave it out to a cutting a cutting ad but since that screen is high he's caught out here and then they have to work from there back on defense got the pump fake and drive by legendary curry Oh, they gave double team down low. So nice heads up to give a double team on Giannis down low. He could definitely do a monster dunk on one of them. But give, putting two people down there and reaching for steals and going for blocks eliminates that. They do leave Wemby open for a three. He can't hit threes. But I think they'd rather take a shot at having him miss a three than almost secure a monster dunk by Sicario here. Nice rebound. Moderate. So I don't know why he shot right away there. I think because the screen connected. He was trying to work. He's trying to use that um, to his advantage. Because a screen connected clearly on Giannis here. And as soon as that screen connected, he basically got a blue. But I think he hesitated just for a split second. Just enough for Giannis to recover from that screen. Yeah. So now back on defense. Nice bumping into Steph Curry because Tatum has higher strength. He cannot have the driving power um, against Tatum's strong, uh, against Tatum's strength. And nice alley-oop. So now on defense... You see Hash bumping up against Curry because of the size difference. Steph Curry isn't allowed to be more uh, agile around Tatum as he would like. So Tatum's forcing him to pick up the ball by bumping into him. And uh, because of Steph Curry's amazing handles, he can still recover. And he tries again on the left side to drive in with Acceleration Master. But Tatum... But Tatum stops that drive and forces him to rethink that plan. And great alley -oop. Mm. Now back on offense. I don't know why Steph Curry decided to run out here. I think they're going to call for a switch. I think a switch was well, yeah, was going to happen. But Tatum's too strong. There's a there's like a one full second opportunity at every switch. So on defense, Steph Curry and 
Giannis decide to switch. But that switching takes a full second to complete. This switch gives Tatum the opportunity to take it to the hole, which you see he does. It's very difficult to stop a driving Tatum, especially if you're a guard. This switch gives Tatum the opportunity to drive in, which he does, and his quickness, his size, and his heights allows him to execute a dunk much better than other guards. Nice awareness. He didn't dunk there, but you get the idea. Yeah, to guard against this uh, pump fake and drive is very hard, man. Very hard. It goes for the alley. We're going to keep our attention on Tatum and what he does. I know there's a lot of stuff going on with the five other people. But great sidestep there. Let's go ahead and rewatch that. So that switch, they got punished once again, right? You can see that. You can see that between uh, Steph Curry and Giannis, they decided to switch. But um, but Tatum steps to the side and probably uses the speed burst as well to get even more open. And he also tops and he also follows that space with the sidestep at the same time. There you go. So the pump fake drive is so difficult to guard. And there's also so many follow-up moves just like that. Bam. So not much you can do there, man. Uh, let's see. So on defense, like if Steph Curry gets like pump fake and drive, he's an acceleration master. You got to just end the screens in the way. Just like IRL NBA. It's so difficult to guard. Just try your best and that was a good try. Nice moves. The switch is successful. So Giannis is guarding Tatum. And makes... Oh my god. Great, great play from both players here. So... So using this screen is very, very helpful for Tatum. If you're a big out there, always set screens. Um, you can try a double screen, but most of the time you want your, your other big to be at the far corner if possible. Just to space out the floor and give you an option for open pass if you're open. So in, here on offense. A lot of circular, circle movement tricks everybody. And then it finds a small opening and a dish out to a, a rolling AD out to the three. And AD's... Smart enough to know that AD has a terrible three. Sometimes it goes in though. But repositions download takes half a second. If you know if you know you're super clear, you could reposition. And you can reposition just under the three, which Ken does, and shoots that mid-range instead. Because AD has a surprisingly high mid-range. And now Tatum's team is up by two with 26 seconds left. They got to play tight defense to keep... Uh, they got to play tight defense. And now they're uh, hyper focused on. And now Tatum. And now Tatum's team is up by two. There's 26 seconds left on the clock. On fake and drive every time. Gotta expect that from Steph Curry. Ooh, they nail a three. They're down by one. There's 19 seconds left, so they can use up the whole clock and save for last shot. But we'll see what they do. The switch happens. Just constant crossovers using that screen. They reset it back. Screen sets again. Money. Money. So let's take a look at that again. So if the screen doesn't connect like it does, doesn't here, like it's just jumbled mess. Like it's just jumbly mess, right? Everyone's just clustered. Don't be afraid to reset it. Even if there's like 15 seconds, it takes like two seconds to reset. 
So use that two seconds and have your team set up properly. It's better to set up properly and make sure you have the best chance at getting a wide open than forcing a shot and then turn over and then they would have lost. So great, great heads up play by Tatum to reset. Now the screen is going to reset down here. We got Demi calling for the alley-oop. And shout out to Coach Demi. He also uploads NBA Infinite videos and he mains Embiid. So his positioning throughout the whole video has been excellent. So shout out to you. So now once the screen is placed, we see him execute his crossovers and looking for the opportunity for it to connect and hopefully execute that sidestep. And so screen is set here. We have Giannis going to the right and we also have JW Snipes on Wemby going to the right here. So we'll see what he does and the sidestep to the left. So using that screen, even though it doesn't connect, people can still cluster around around that screen because his blue zone is open still. That's the difference. Even if the screen doesn't connect, that body there to push him out, the, the blue contesting zone, and you know when you sidestep his exclusive, it's it's just sidestep release. And he also he also got a great release as well. So that combined that combined with the open contesting zone lets him know that I should shoot a three here. Even with Steph Curry coming in, how crazy is that? Steph Curry had a feeling that that shot will come in, leaves Embiid open down low, and comes up, but one second too short. Wide open. All right, on defense, they have to play lockdown defense. They're down by, they're up by two with eight seconds left. Pump faking drive, you gotta expect it. alley -oop does not go in for the tie. Unlucky, unlucky, but great win. Great offense on both sides, great defense on both sides. 13 points Tatum, three threes. So hopefully you learned something there. I don't know if I should make this into a series. There's a lot of great Tatum players, a lot of great players overall across many different players. So I'm excited to be sharing this. It just happens to be the first one was featuring TN Hash. Shout out to True North. So if you want more videos like this, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. And any feedback in the comments, please let me know. I know this was a quick one and I just want to showcase the top players playing them. There's a lot of valuable nuggets in here. Hopefully you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.